In the following videos, I will be installing the electronics based around the 3D printer and using the specific electronics for that. Kicking off the electronics, I will determine a location for the Z and Y axis motor drivers. I have elected to put them on the back plate of the machine, uh, but they can be essentially outside of the machine completely and wired up into the machine. I'm just using some um, reused uh, um, screws, uh, self-tapping screws and going into the wood, um, just making small holes where the mounting brackets are for the motor drivers. A quick note, uh, many of these uh, components for the electronics will be able to used, be used for the CNC processes as well. These stepping motor drivers will work uh, well for CNC work um, and exceptionally well for the 3D printer as they are stronger than the average 3D printer drivers. I've also elected to put the, the Sanguino mainboard on the back plate um, opposite the motor drivers, but I've later found that this is probably not the best location. It's probably best to put on one of the uh, structural sides, maybe the lower structural side. The board was laid on the, on the back plate and it was simply marked and drilled for the four hole locations. I'm using self-tapping screws again, uh, but I'm also putting a spacer between the the PCB and the wood. A ribbon cable is used to connect the Sanguino board uh, to the stepping motor drivers. Uh, this will connect the step and direction, um, VCC, and ground. It will also contain the max and min, maximum and minimum for the, the optical switches. The connector and female headers um, pretty much snap into place very easily and quickly. It's best to use a, a pair of pliers to get this together. Cut off the extra ribbon that sticks out of the header loop the ribbon cable back and add the extra part of the housing that stabilizes the ribbon cable. Repeat this process for all three connections. The length of cable you'll need will depend on where the Sanguino is placed and where the stepping drivers are located. Since these stepping motors have screw terminals, we'll have to take this ribbon cable and separate the, the wires uh, so they can be exposed individually and screwed into the terminals. Strip the ends to remove the insulation of the wire and to expose the wire itself. Plug the cable into the appropriate connector on the Sanguino board and you'll also notice that on the ends of the cable where the wire is exposed I did some pre-tinning just to uh, give it a little bit more strength for the wire going into the terminals. Tinning the wire is not necessary. Okay, the pinout for the, the stepping motor, this is the, um, the cable connector for the Sanguino main board and for the wires located on the connector uh, this is how the wiring would be configured for the stepping motor and this is from top to bottom of the ribbon cable <clears throat> this is as if you're looking at the top view uh, so the first one is ground the second one is ground the next one is step direction enable the minimum for the switch for the uh, minimum part of the axis travel, maximum for the maximum part of the axis travel, 
And then you have three more grounds. Depending on the stepping motor driver you have, you may have it labeled uh, in different ways. The, it may have pull, P-U-L for pulse, which actually means step. You'll notice that I took the ground wires and I actually wired them together and soldered them together, but that's not necessary. You can actually, if you want to um, put multiple wires of ground in, um, in the stepping motor terminals, that's, that's quite all right. Wire the step in the pull positive, the pulse positive, um, and the direction in the DIR positive. The grounds will go into the pull negative and the direction negative. The same goes for the enable terminal. The remaining two wires are the minimum and maximum, and we'll probably use a ground um, to complete the circuit for the, for the switches.